Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Miami's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. They're going to have to prove it on the field again today. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. becomes the host of this game played here at Keenan Memorial. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Thompson has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's on the run, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down, about nine yards there for the quarterback. That makes it second and two. It's second and two. Ball of the 22. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. that ball so hard I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. Hearn, the return man. He's at midfield and he's taken down at the 47 yard line. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 44. on the play. The Tar Heels always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Reception good for seven yards. The wide receiver ran a simple out route, and the quarterback did a good job of hitting him in stride to pick up a few yards. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. 
as the intended receiver on the play. They'll line it up again on third down. Here he goes. Inside the 10. And he is drilled at the six-yard line. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Here we go. Watch the pass. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the seventh. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. North Carolina could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Brought down at the 29. The Tar Heels are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Makes it to the 37. It's second and two. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. He gets rid of this one. He's at midfield, and he's taken down around the 49-yard line. Very intelligent play call, dialing up the option on third down, and it worked like a charm. From the 49-yard line, first down. Gonna go across the middle, caught. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Tries to get around the corner. And he's tackled at the 25. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the one yard line. Harrow makes the tackle at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. a great tackle at the one that's going to do it for the first quarter we got a good one so far North Carolina's got a three-point lead welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter A 
Touchdown Hurricanes. And he hits the PAT. So that's an eight play, 71 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Miami lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Down the sideline. And they finally knock him out at the 43. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Decent run here, right side. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle at the 39. Makes the first down catch. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. And a quick throw. He's at the 30. And they make the stop at the 16. As, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you. That's what happens. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. So it's fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Miami with a one-point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. From their own 33-yard line. It's second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. From their own 43-yard line. 
It's first down. The Tar Heels running back taken out earlier, sideline with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Under heavy pressure. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 43. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Miami is up one. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at the 28. First down. From the 28-yard line. First down. Rolls middle to the tight end. And he's level at the 22-yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. This is the ninth play of this drive. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. It's out to about the 21. it out to about the 10. Miami's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Just throws this one away. From the 10-yard line. Second down. Miami of the points. Gets it out quickly, and he tackles him hard at the seven-yard line. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And won't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Williams is lined up to kick this one off. Nicholas takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Tar Heels. When a guy like this gets into the open field, it's pretty much game over if you're trying to catch him. He kind of had that feeling he was going to do something big today, and that's exactly what he did right there. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point.
Well, we've played a half of football. The Tar Heels with a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you gonna do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. North Carolina is up by three. He's to the 40. He's at midfield, and they push him out at the 49-yard line. He's at the 30 to the 20. And they finally knock him out at the eight yard line. To the end zone, touchdown. the PAT. Thompson looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here's a handoff, left side. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. to return. Oh, 
And he muffed it. Heading for the corner. So that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for a return man is of the utmost importance. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the sight of that defensive line. Slings it. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Third and about 13 yards. Ball on the 34. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. Clark will be the return man. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's to the 40. Nice catch on that one. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. From their own 45-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 46. That's a That brings us second and nine. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike nine, Mike nine. Hang out, hang out, hang out. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. That's a D of 12 on the play. First down. From the 42-yard line. It's first down. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. That was a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. to get it down to the 32. He zips it out to the right. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 14-yard line. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Here's the 
is the eighth play of the series. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 10 yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and six. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop at the one. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. 2010 Tar Heel. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Touchdown, Canes. So obviously a lot of excitement about that score here early in the fourth quarter, but they've got to get their heads back in it now. We've got a tight football game and a long way to go. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. Nicholas is back ready to receive. And boy, has he been the game breaker on special teams today. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. So early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. North Carolina holds a field goal lead. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That makes it seven and six. gets rid of this one good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play from their own 34 yard line it's third down and he just gets rid of it excellent series by this defense forcing them to go three and out and the offense really struggled on this drive they're gonna have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys Coleman is the punter Clark fields at the 30. Tackle at the 34. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gaining five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Nearly intercepted. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Williams to punt. He's tackled at the 43. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. North Carolina has a three-point lead. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 45. Change for another North Carolina. Here we go. Easy, easy, 
He heaves it deep. And a great catch downfield. Touchdown, UNC. And he adds the extra point. Thompson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 28. About six yards on that completion. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From their own 27-yard line, third down. This one away. He's taken down at about the forty nine. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 49. Got it out to his tight end. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. First down. Caught out in the open. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. On the tackle at the 27-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. Check, check, easy, check, easy, easy. Check, lucky, three. lucky. Check, check. Less than two Come minutes on. in the fourth quarter. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle, Eagle. Eagle. Three. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. two. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Nice play to set up first and goal. First and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Pressure coming. They bring the quarterback down. That makes his third and goal.
The Hurricanes taking their first time out of the half. Third down and goal to go. Ball on the 14. And he's tackled around the eight-yard line. Allen gains six yards with a short completion. Miami's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. fourth quarter and the big question is in a game this close who's going to crack first the draw within a field goal and he hits the PAT it was a 13 play 78 yard drive and it results in a touchdown Brad I love these kind of drives they're old school grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The ball pops free. They fall out. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. The Hurricanes, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Second down and 12. Ball on the 35. Under a minute left. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. frustration by that offense but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close so this one's in the books and we saw a great one here today 27 24 North Carolina for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time